All right, if you're watching this video, you are a diehard. Thank you for your hard work. Hey, today we're learning about balance, and I thought this picture was appropriate. I had a student draw it last year, and it shows balance really well, and that's what we need when we solve equations. So, here we have a pair of adjacent angles, angle A, B, D, is adjacent to angle DBC. They share a ray, don't they? They share a ray. Okay? So let's solve this thing. We want to find out what X is. Um, and it says right here that the measure of angle ABC is 100. So that means this angle right here is 100. So I'm just going to write myself a little note that those two angles together is 100. So we can do this. 2x plus 60 equals 100. And then comes the idea of balance. Whatever I do to one side, I must do to the other. So if I take away 60, that cancels there, and I'm left with 40 here. And on the other side, I have 2x. And the opposite of times is divide. Therefore, x must equal 20. Got it. So if I replace 20 right here, 2 times 20 is 40. 40 plus 60 is 100. We know we are right. All right. Next problem. Together, these two angles make up supplementary. So supplementary means, sup means 180. It's what you say to your friends. So, sup, 4x plus 74. Together, these two angles together make 180. So again, the idea of balance comes into play. We subtract 74 on both sides, maintaining balance. That leaves 4x here and 106 here, I believe. Yes. Yes, that's right. I hope that's right. Yep. And then the opposite of times by 4 is to divide by 4. And so that cancels. And x equals whatever 106 divided by 4 is. And that's going to be 2 here. 8, 26. 4 goes in 26. 6 times, 24, 2, bring down a 0, 26.5. Therefore, x is 26.5. Awesome. Next. Ooh, this looks hard. we got to find the value of x. We need to know two things. We need to know complementary angles, and that's where two angles add up to 90 degrees. So we know this one's 40. That means this one has to be 50. Has to be. By complementary angles. Giving someone a complement is the right thing to do. Complementary is 90. Get it? Giving someone a compliment's the right thing to do. Pretty funny, huh? Okay, so, not really, but that's okay. The next thing we need to know is that we have a pair of vertical angles. They are right here. See that? Is equal to that. So, vertical angles means two angles directly opposite will be equal if they're they share the same line, two lines. 
So 5x equals 50, that's so totally easy, divide by 5, x equals 10. Done. Last one. Quickly, draw a wall. Whatever I do to one side, I do to the other. That makes 8, that cancels. Negative 2x here, greater than or equal to 8. If you divide by negative 2 here, you got to divide by negative 2 here. And if you divide by a negative, you switch the inequality sign. And there we go. There's our answer. So x can be anything less than or equal to negative 4. If I want to do a really super fast graph, there's negative 4, there's negative 5, there's negative 3. X can be anything less than, less than negative 4, or equal to negative 4, so I have to color it in. Thank you for listening. You are awesome. Done.